everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rachel if you are new here today i'm filming such a long awaited jewelry collection i feel like it's taken me forever to film this video and i have no idea why i keep pushing it off but i get so many questions about my jewelry my everyday jewelry that i wear on the daily i don't have a huge jewelry collection but i just have really good quality pieces that i love and really do stand behind so i'm so excited to share with you all of my jewelry pieces i have my jewelry box sitting right here and i'll share where that's from and i'll have links to everything down below in the description really quick before we get into the jewelry collection i wanted to thank fetch for sponsoring today's video and i'm so excited to share them with you guys because it is such a cool app so it is fetch rewards you download the app it is a free app to download and you literally just download scan your receipts from like grocery stores retail stores literally anywhere and you earn rewards which then turns into basically like free money so i'll show you guys how i do it i have the app on my phone and i save some receipts i'm gonna turn on my screen recording i normally save all my receipts that's just like the type of person i am but it doesn't have to be a physical receipt which is really nice if you have like an e-receipt or something you can still use it to gain points so i have this receipt from whole foods so i'm just gonna hold the receipt up 750 points i spent 31 dollars yesterday at whole foods so i'm gonna do done so it shows up at the corner that i have 750 points so i also have this target one this is for 91 dollars at target what i love about this is how quick it is it's not like you are going out of your way trying to like put all your points in some like excel sheet or like you know what i mean it's just so quick all on the app the app is free i just scanned my whole foods i got 750 points and then my target i got 500 points so i already have 1250 points in my app it took me like five seconds then you can go to the reward section on the app and kind of see what you can get with your points <clears throat> keeps the total for you right in the corner so you always know exactly how much you have which is nice and then you can just kind of go down like five thousand points is five dollars uh five dollar starbucks gift card in stores and online which is awesome because i spend money at starbucks every single day so why not keep start putting my points towards money i do a lot of my shopping online and so just because it's online doesn't mean that i can't get points for it ton of rewards and like gift cards you can get starbucks target amazon things that we all use on the daily you guys want to check out the link in the description and you click on the link once you download the app and use my code rachel Ratke, you automatically get four thousand points there's so many good options on there and that's literally just for putting my name in and downloading the app so that's already i mean more points than i have in my app so definitely use it i'll have it linked down below in the description and again like i said i'm going to be linking all my receipts so we can do it together there's no trick or something that i'm not mentioning it's so so simple so quick so easy and we're going to go ahead and get into the jewelry collection <laughs> first of all talk about my jewelry box really quick this is where i keep all my jewelry sitting on my dresser and i love it it is from crate and barrel a good jewelry box i feel like is something every girl needs i am going to start with what i wear on my body daily the earrings and stuff switch up but the necklaces and the rings are pretty much the exact same and the bracelets every single day so we'll start with the two necklaces I'm wearing the D necklace I've had this necklace for five years Dylan got it for me for our second Christmas together and it is from a place called Bella Dar again everything is going to be linked down below for you guys it does not tarnish I have not taken this off for five years unless it was like for like a photo shoot or something like that and I had to take it off and I am obsessed with this necklace all of you guys comment on it it's just a little sideways D for Dylan's name and it's just so dainty cute looks good with literally anything and you can stack it so if you're looking for like a go-to necklace this one I highly recommend and it is not super expensive, which I'm so, so, so surprised that it's lasted this long. The chain, the quality, the gold coloring, it's all so, so nice. And then the R necklace, I recently just got this last summer from Adina's Jewels. I love this. They sent it to me. It's the gothic initial necklace and I absolutely love it. So I'll have this one linked and these are my two like go-tos. They're just really thin simple chains which is what i like love the chunky layered look but this is just like a really good day-to-day -day little stack that i have going on so moving on to rings all of my rings besides like two are all from orate you guys will notice that like 90 percent of my jewelry is from orate i love them so much my favorite jewelry brand if you guys watch my vlogs you know that i'm obsessed with orate jewelry this ring that i have on this right hand is a thicker infinity band from 
Alright, and this was my first ring that I like I used to not wear rings It's super weird because now I'm like super into rings But this was the first ring that I ever like got and I've had it for about two Years now and I love it, it doesn't turn my finger it's super cute. I get a lot of compliments on this ring I like how it's thicker so it kind of stands out more and then on this hand I normally just keep it simple recently just got engaged. So I have this little engagement ring on a little side note about the engagement ring I've gotten some questions about like the cut and like the band and all that and Dylan obviously knows way more than I do but it is an emerald cut and it is a gold band a rounded gold thin band so I don't know where he got it I don't know like the carrot the cut like I don't know all that all I know is like the cut name and it's an emerald cut that's the engagement ring I'm obsessed with it and then this ring on my pointer finger thinner version of this thick one I think it's called the thin infinity band and I just keep that on my pointer finger and I just like how it looks sometimes I'll put a ton of rings on it just kind of depends on what outfit I'm wearing what I'm doing for the day but this is what you normally will see on me these three rings right here moving into bracelets I actually have all of my bracelets on that I own like every bracelet that I own I keep on 24 7 so I'll start with these two the beaded ones right here are from a store called E Newton and I actually discovered them like two summers ago I think it was right when I started my YouTube channel actually but I got these in Florida and they are gold filled bracelets so they're a little bit on the pricier end not super pricey they're under a hundred dollars but I love them they come in a ton of different sizes I'll link the sizes that I have below and then along with the other three these I actually just recently added to my stack and these are all three from Orate. They're all super thin, dainty chains, which I am obsessed with. They're all different types of chains too. I get so many compliments when I'm like getting my nails done or just like doing things with my hands when people are noticing my hands and people are always like, your bracelets are so beautiful. They are not going to tarnish, they're gonna last. I keep these on in the shower, the ocean, all of that. So those are the bracelets I wanna add some more to my stack because I'm just so obsessed with how they look. Earrings is something that I switch up every single day, so I don't go with the exact same pair of earrings in my ears every day just because I have so many earrings that I love that are such great quality that I love switching them up. In my ears today, I have this one earring that I think I get my most questions about in my first haul. This is from Love AJ, and I have been trying to link this earring for you guys for forever. I can never find it in stock anywhere, so I know Revolve carries it, so I'll link it even though it's probably out of stock, um, and then you can just like turn on the um, notification when it restocks. They are so cute. I actually am kind of sad though because one of them actually broke, so I only have one which is fine because I like to wear mixed match earrings. That's how I kind of prefer my earrings to look. So I have two holes on each side and I just kind of like the mix match. In my second hole on this side, I have these bar earrings from Orate, just a really good stud. I've recently been into stud earrings. These are just a really good layering one, especially if you have a ton of piercings in your ears, these would be a really cute one to add to your stack. Over here on this side, I have my little link chain from orate these are my shorter link and i love these earrings i'll show you guys the others that i have right now these are my longer pair and you can see next to the, the shorter one it's a pretty big difference i love wearing these earrings with the shorter one in the second hole and the longer one in the front i used to do this all the time these are such a good pair of earrings if you're looking for like a fun kind of statement piece but also like an everyday these are such a great option okay and then my second hole on this side are a pair of chain like dangly ones as well this is like my favorite style earring so these are from adina's jewels they sent these to me and i you guys love them i think this exact pair is sold out but adina's jewels has such good um, variations and options of this kind of earring so I will link a few below they are so cute Adina's jewels is another great place to check out jewelry this was my first pair of earrings from orate they actually match this ring I bought them as a set they look like this you can kind of see how they match the ring they're the infinity huggy stud and I love these this is a really good everyday pair these are my newest studs for my collection these are also from orate I love how these look in my second hole with like maybe say like a dangling chain I swear once you start building your jewelry collection and you have like a good amount of I mean, I guess you'll have to have a good amount of piercings. I only have two. Layering and switching them out and mix matching is such a fun thing to do. This ear huggy, which I actually meant to put on for this video. 
love this if you're someone who's a little bit nervous to get like a cartilage piercing or something like that like i am like it literally took me so long to get my second hole pierced because i'm so scared of needles um an ear huggy is such a good option i could even like stack another ear huggy on here and make it look like i have two up here and it just adds like a little bit to your ear didn't like in the I think like everyone used to call this like ear candy and it used to trend on instagram am i right <laughs> i used to be such a big hoop girl but recently I started getting into the more like fun, dangly, mix match stud type of thing. But I still wanna share my hoops because I love a good pair of hoops every now. And then this pair of hoops from Ana Luisa, these are my biggest pair of hoops. And I feel like they're just such a good staple to have. They're really nice. They haven't tarnished or anything. And I've had these for like two years. Um, and I really, really like them. They're more on the affordable side, which is nice. And they're not heavy. I hate hoops that are heavy. Like I will not recommend to you guys any earrings that are heavy pulling on your ears because to me that's like the absolute worst love these and then moving down in size i have these kind of thicker ones and these are actually from amazon and i don't wear them a ton because i don't want them to tarnish they were literally 12 dollars, but i bought them just as like a fun play around pair for like say if i want to wear hoops to the beach or something and i like i'm going to be in the water a lot and i don't want them to fall out or whatever if these do fall out, it's not gonna be the end of the world. They were $12, so I'll link these. I have gone through like three pairs of these and I really, really like them. Last pair of hoops are these from Tala Rose LA. I'll link her stuff below as well. She sends me her jewelry. She's the sweetest, small owned business and it's really nice quality jewelry. So I love these because they get a little bit thinner and then it thickens out a little bit. So it gives a little bit different shape of a hoop. Super, super cute, I love those. And then lastly, I did forget to mention these kind of dangly ones. These are from Tala Rose LA as well. Love a good little pearl moment. And pearls are like slowly coming back in. So definitely check out her stuff. She has really, really cute, cute stuff. Next, I'm gonna talk about three other rings that I have. The first one is this super thick one from Adina's Jewels. I really, really like this one um, because you can expand and close. So. Like you, I could wear it on my pinky finger or I could wear it on my thumb. Like that's how good it is at closing. It also hasn't tarnished and I wear this a lot. And then I have these two other ones from Orate. Love this thick, I think it's called the cigar band. I absolutely love what that looks like when you stack it. And then this little chain linked one also looks, that one looks really, really cute stacked as well. So such cute rings over at Orate, you guys. I'm not kidding, you have to check out their rings. Necklaces that we have. First up, I'm gonna talk about these two. These are both from Tala Rose LA. She sent me both of these. This is like the herringbone chain, I believe that's what it's called. And these are so popular. They've kind of started coming back into style and I love what they look like on. So I have a shorter one and then I have the longer one. I love mixing these with these two that I wear daily and kind of just doing a layered look if you're wearing more of like a basic top. These are really cute, such good quality. They don't tarnish, they don't turn, like they're really, really beautiful. They look very, very expensive, so I love those. Next up I have this necklace, which if you guys are an OG, you know this necklace. I This was like one of my first gold jewelry purchases that I bought in college, and I remember like saving up my money for it, and I was so excited for it to come in the mail. It's from a place called Georgiana, just a really pretty chain and then it has a cool clasp in the front so it kind of looks a little bit different gives your neck some different layers and textures which i really like okay last three pieces we have are all from adina's jewels i love them i literally don't share stuff with you guys that i don't love and use and these i wear all the time so this is a really fun one i love this for the summer when i'm wearing a bikini and whatnot it's kind of more of a choker length it has a little rhinestone r and a rhinestone butterfly it looks really cute layered with the two that i have on sometimes i'll wear this and it kind of just is really really dainty Okay, last up I have probably the two chunkiest necklaces in my collection. I love them. I think this is the perfect length and the perfect chunkiness. Sometimes if I wear a gold chain necklace that's a little bit too chunky, I sometimes feel like I'm wearing like a collar and I don't love that look. So I feel like this is a great mix. I wouldn't wear it with this shirt, but like more of a high neck shirt with this hanging down is really fun and cute, such great quality. Last up, we have this more kind of dainty chain, but it definitely is thicker than what I wear on the daily. Super cute also with another layering piece. And then it also matches this chain that I'm wearing as my bracelet. So I kind of like wearing 
those together. So I feel like jewelry is really personal and you kind of start to become attached to certain pieces and items because it's something that you wear every single day. Like at least the items that I have on like currently minus the earrings, like these I've become attached to. It's just like my everyday go-to. I know how it is to wear it. I know what it's going to look like. Like I just love these pieces. So I hope you guys got some inspiration from this video. Maybe some new pieces that you're going to try out. Again, I'll have everything linked down below. I hope you guys all enjoyed and enjoyed my little jewelry collection. Again, thank you Fetch Rewards for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys all check out their app and definitely use my code Rachel Ratke and you get 4,000 points right off the bat. So check them out. I'm going to go drink my Starbucks, hang out with Winnie. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.